So I'm going to try out the effects on the Roland SH4D. Um, I've normally got a Syntac and the Syntac doesn't have too many effects as you probably know. It has an FX system on it but it doesn't have what this has. This has loads of effects. I haven't even counted them but it's absolutely brilliant for effects. So what I've done here, I've just got a little tune playing on here. If you look here I've got a um, just a beat, just a two pattern beat when I've worked out how to use the and how to save them at all. So really what I've got here, I've got a two part beat here. Listen to this. Just changing the filter slightly. And then you've got a bit more of a trendy beat there. So what I'm gonna do first of all, it's just, it's just gonna press um, tone. I'm gonna show you the massive difference this makes uh, when you put some um, you know, effects on, because I say effects completely change the fabulous outcome of this machine. So let's go on to pattern one. So let's just change it. Crusher. Phonograph. Pitch shifter. Sounds like a horse riding, doesn't it? Chorus. Flanger. Delay. Chorus. That's not another horse to me, chorus. So, but you see, if you look at, you've got control and control here. You can change the rate. Get some drive on there, so. Let's just go on to pattern two. I like pattern two. Um, so, this is just where you are with um, creating, uh, you know, tracks. But think about the effects. The effects are so powerful. So, let's go on to reverb. You can just see on the top screen there the different reverbs you can apply here. Off, integrity, hall. Hall, serve, just different reverbs, gated reverb. Let's go back into tone. I'll just turn the reverb off there. I'll turn it down anyway. Go into tone. And then just crush you. Can you just hear the massive difference it makes? Now I'm, I'm currently on the rhythm side, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip onto the actual synth side. Shift and part one, please. So let's see what difference it makes to this. A bit of rotary, can you hear the rotary? So you can apply the effects to the rhythm, different parts, etc. But now listen to that distortion. Now that distortion on the rhythm makes it sound a bit like a techno track or a um, IBM track, industrial dance track. And that is just effects. I'm not used to having such good effects, such powerful effects uh, on a machine because of my usage of the syntax and the digitone and the rhythm. People who argue they do have them, but they don't have this massive array of effects. If you press the uh, shift and go into tone, you can just see the different effects. You can switch them on and off. Distortion, yes. No distortion. Just looking through them for the drive. Limiter, delay. amazing oh combination so when you think about this h4d i, I find it um it's it's like a breath of fresh air from the syntax or the electron machines it was because you can do so much and then you can add to that by putting on uh, effects and the so easy to use remember just to press them um, go back to reverb one that's your total control and the reverb and you can turn it on and off you've got such fantastic power here but for me, it's the difference it actually makes to this end result and the end sound and the control you've got. You've even got chorus. Chorus and delay. This in some respects reminds me a lot of uh, Cirrus. Uh, uh, you know, so to say, Serum I should say. If you've ever used Serum on FL Studio or Ableton or whatever, that comes with a massive amount of effects. 
And what you can do on there, you can change the wave tables, you can do everything. But this just reminds me of the hardware version of that. Probably not a good comparison, uh, but honestly, it's just amazing. This is just chorus. Juno chorus. And then you've obviously got delay as well. That you can pan about, play about with to your heart's content. But I like to do, I like to look at using the tone, which is the effects of course. I like choosing that and looking at them on the drums, on the rhythm I should say, or actually uh, on the synth part. So I'll just go back into the rhythm part there, shift and into rhythm, right there. So we're now on the rhythm, you can see the R means rhythm, and let's just put some effects on the drum. Pitch shift with that pitch shift here. So it's just to show you what you can do. So create your track, create your music on the SH, uh, you know, SH4D and then either during the process add the effects and change the effects they're absolutely great it's not smart I used to so this is why I've done the video because it's such a surprise chorus on a drum? no! flanger delay chorus flanger delay wah! chorus again flanger Phaser, tremolo, and they're on drums and they sound so good. I, I normally used to just put, re I normally used to put uh, reverb, you know, or just delay on drums. Maybe with distortion, to be honest, when I was doing my IBM tracks and stuff. But it just gives you such a, a great uh, ability to create more and more sounds, more and more tracks. Look at the mix level as well. I'm just playing with the mix level now. Just amazing. So that's just my first thoughts on the um, effects, absolutely brilliant, I'm not used to it, that's why I'm so excited about it and um, I just hope that you enjoy uh, the Roland SH4D if you do buy one. Uh, I got mine off um, eBay as usual uh, because um, I don't have sponsored videos at the moment so unless somebody else sponsor me, but anyway so there you go, hope you enjoy the machine and, and the effects. <laughs>